Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets. So the trading session we have is uh, Thursday, the 27th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so. Um, in terms of uh, Asian markets overnight, certainly lower. Uh, U.S. markets certainly hit hard yesterday as well, uh, since Mr. Obviously Powell raised interest rates. Okay, certainly markets uh, interpreted as being negative. Shanghai down as well. On top of that, Mr. Trump had some negative comments as well, accusing China of interfering with U.S. politics, and the situation still remains sour with regards to China and America. Uh, this morning, we've got concerns regarding Italy uh, as well. That certainly is being exacerbated. In terms of consumer confidence in the eurozone, certainly coming in weaker as well. So again, certainly hurting the markets. Although you German con consumer confidence came in slightly stronger. Okay, now eurozone certainly weaker. Uh, economic data are all weaker in the eurozone. In terms of the rest of the day, we've got uh, economic data out with regards to Germany's inflation numbers. MPC member Haldane is speaking, and U.S. jobless claims GDP numbers certainly will be uh, telling in terms of the next potential market mover. We do have Mr. Draghi speaking as well later on around half two, so keep an eye out for that in terms of the next potential move uh, in terms of uh, European currency. US equities, like I said, certainly flushed yesterday on the back of uh, the rate hike. Uh, again, a lot of interpretations out there. Initially, they spiked and then eventually they actually sold off. Let's just give you a little oops, that insight into the S&P 500 here. Okay, so you can see quite a prolific sell-off and a lot of volatility as well. Obviously, initially spiking up 29.30 as soon as it closed the gap and the market flushed quite substantially. Okay, so it certainly seems like we are into gap fill now into this uh, key support around the 29.06 zone. Uh, if the market continues to flush, then you are looking at 28.90, so watch out below there as well. Okay, so that's the status quo at present in terms of the market. Uh, in terms of European equities, let's quickly go through uh, the... Uh, I mean, then that's a narrative, but in terms of the equities, let's go through that with you. As you can see here, gap fill, uh, gap lower. Okay, the market certainly has triggered that bear flag formation. 10 minute chart, you can see the market certainly pushed lower. Uh, we're testing that key support, previous resistance equals support 12277. We do have the unfilled gap as well there. Okay, so watch out for the potential uh, gap real resistance. Okay, so uh, the unfilled gap certainly remains in play. I'll we'll see exactly how markets react here. Again, if the market flushes, you are looking at support around the 12.280 zone. And again, bear in mind concerns over Italy remain at present. In terms of the French CAC, let's bring that up for you again. French CAC certainly moving lower now. Uh, it has built a uh, key wall of resistance uh, up here. Uh, okay, so potential double top and a key wall of resistance. Daily chart certainly depicts that. You've got this key diagonal trend line certainly coming into play as well. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, FTSE 100 again building a wall at this key resistance at 7.522. So you're looking to potentially flush here. 60 minute chart as well, potentially topping out. As you can see on the uh, 60 minute chart, key resistance in that zone. And the most important resistance is the one on the uh, daily chart where previous resistance equals support on the FTSE. So watch out for potential next moves there. Okay, so that's the status quo in terms of your FTSE 100 as well. Uh, in terms of euro stocks, let's quickly look into that. Now, again, looking for a lower high and then looking for a lower low, looking to potentially close that gap below at uh, 3,400 on the uh, European European equities, given the fact that we've got concerns regarding Italy. So, again, certainly take that into consideration as well in terms of the next move in the eurozone. Okay, so please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus with cfds.com and be sure to download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye.